So you can see the way my hand is standing. See the way it's standing. That is how it's going to stand very firm. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for stopping by. If you are new here for the first time, you are so welcome. Consider subscribing. Turn on the bell so that whenever I upload videos, you get notified. So just like the title says, this is going to make your chest, you know, your bust to firm up. You know, to get very tighter, tighten the loose skin around those area, and making sure it stand again. So, if you are new here for the first time, you are so welcome. Consider subscribing, turn on the bell so that whenever I upload videos, you get notified and come and watch. So, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make use of corn. If you have corn like this, please try to turn it into a powdered form. You know, get corn starch corn flour I have a corn flour okay cutting from the corn itself so I'm going to be making use of this instead of this okay but if you know how to prepare it how to turn it into a powder form you can go ahead corn flour is very tightening it's going to tighten your skin it contains nutrients that will help to penetrate and repair all those damaged tissues you know, it's just going to stand once again. So the measurement depends on your size, you know, the size of your bust. If you have a bigger one, a very saggy one, just get more than this. So this size is just for two, for the smaller ones so or medium size. Two tablespoons of cornstarch or corn flour. Another one we have here is oat powder or oat flour. I will be adding one tablespoon. Oat powder will also help to tighten loose skin. You can apply it on your face to get rid of wrinkles. So this is just going to make it, you know, firm up and looking very good once again. It's very moisturizing as well. We have to keep that area well firm and hydrated. So we have here two wonderful ingredients, the powder ingredients. I'm going to go right now to introduce the oil I'll be using. So this oil will help greatly to keep it well moisturized, preventing stretch marks, you know, you know, removing anything that will make you to have stretch marks, firming it up and removing loose skin. So before I add my oil, the oil I said, I'm going to add a little water, just a very little water, you know, then mix it to form a thick paste. Be adding a little by little because you don't want this uh, max or treatment to be watery. You don't want it so watery, okay? So if you have these ingredients in your kitchen, do not underrate it, please. They are not only for cooking or baking. They can serve greatly to repair loose skin. You know, making sure it gets back, even if it's not completely standing, just like before, you know. You will notice great results, like seriously. So just mix together very well before adding the oil. Make sure it's very smooth, there are no lumps, and everything is uniform. So the oil I'm going to add is extra virgin olive oil. So this oil contains vitamin E powerful antioxidant that will help to make sure your skin is tighter, removing sagginess, loose skin is going to tighten it. So this will help to moisturize the area as well, preventing stretch marks. If you have stretch marks, you know, with consistent use, 
if you, if you notice a great you know, reduction of your stretch marks. I'll be adding just half, you know, half tablespoon because of the quantity. If you are increasing all the ingredients, you want to make a large amount, just add more of the ingredients, you know, just double the ingredients, okay? So after adding your oil, go ahead and mix one more time just like this. Very perfect. Very simple ingredients and yet yields great results. So after mixing everything together, the three wonderful ingredients, it's time to go right now to show you how to apply it. Of course, I won't be using my own. <laughs> I'll just use my hand to show you how to apply it for effective results. So, I'll be using my hand like here. Let's say this is breast. You just have to apply it circularly, you know. You know, even if it's sagging, okay? Just apply it like this, all over. Just all over. Then you start lifting it, you know. First start with moving it round, moving it round like this, move it round. So you have to start carrying it upwardly like this. You can apply it everywhere, even the nipple side if you want. Or you can just try to avoid that area if you want. This is food, okay? No, no chemical in it. It's just like applying oat max. You know, this is also like a max. This, this is a very good remedy for wrinkles. You can apply it all over your body to firm your skin if your skin is loose. You can also apply it to prevent wrinkles. So there is no side effect. It will not cause any problem. Continue massaging it like this. Apply more if you want. So just continue this way and this way, clockwise, anti-clockwise, anti clockwise, anti-clockwise. Continue like this. After that, you have to allow it to dry. It's going to get dried faster because of the cornstarch. So when it gets dry, put on a tight fitting bra, okay? Then go to bed. Please do this especially at night but if you are going to be staying all through the day at home use it in the morning then leave it on for many hours wash it off using a cool water please do not use hot or warm water or if the season is a cold season okay maybe the, there's cold in that particular time please use a warm water why i say cool water is because cool water will help to make it tighter like it helps to repair tissues that are sagging, okay? So just put on a tight fitting bra and allow it like that for some time. Remove it, wash it off. Apply either vitamin E oil on the area, you know, massage it like that, or you apply olive oil, okay? Extra virgin olive oil. So continue with this every night or during the day. Use it for as long as you want. As you make use of it, you'll be noticing improvements. Okay? You'll be noticing it by yourself. So the result depends on how severe yours is. There are some people that have like severe saggy one, like serious one. So just be using it until you notice great results. You can store this in the fridge, just cover it maximum of five days. After five days, you make another one. It's always best to make little amounts so that any time, so that it will not stay longer in the fridge. Go ahead and try this tip and you will never regret it. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to subscribe to this channel. Share this video to everyone. I will see you in my next video.